Hello, I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Today I'm going to give you my top picks for the Tier 4 Ranked Season, and this should apply to any Tier 4 Ranked Season in the future as well, barring the addition of any super, super good ships. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my top pick for each class, Destroyer, Cruiser, and Battleship, and we're going to start with Destroyer and kick things off with the Tier 4 American Tech Tree Destroyer Farragut. I'll give you some premium alternatives at the end of these recommendations too, just if you want to go with a premium ship, although I'm not going to have any gameplay from them. I'll just mention them briefly. But why are we talking about the Farragut as our top destroyer pick for Tier 4 ranked? Well, because of its gun power, I think in a ranked setting, no matter how many ships there are, I think this season is 3v3, no matter how many ships there are, if you're going to take a destroyer out, almost certainly you're going to be facing a destroyer on the enemy team. And when it comes down to it, your primary goal should be to counter or destroy that enemy destroyer. And no destroyer at Tier 4 is better at destroying other destroyers than the Farragut. At least I don't think so. It's got a very fast reload, and if I'm not completely mistaken, it has the fastest reload of any destroyer at Tier 4. I don't think anything else is faster. It's also got 5 guns, 127 millimeters in size, and that amount of guns with that quick of a fire rate down at Tier 4 is enough to melt pretty much any enemy destroyer you're going to come across. You can even do it from the safety of a smoke screen if you are so fortunate to have spotting outside of that smoke screen. And of course, since the Farragut is American, its smoke screens last for an eternity. As far as its torpedo power versus battleships, well, it does have a lot of torpedoes, I think eight of them. And they reload fairly quickly, I think a minute and 28 seconds on this build. The problem with the torpedoes, of course, is the range. The Farragut cannot really stealth fire its torpedoes at battleships, but what it can do is tank some hits from battleships from time to time. A couple hits here and there are not going to kill it. It does have a large hit points pool, which is another thing that also makes it good at dealing with enemy destroyers. But the torpedoes have a 5.4 kilometer range. I've got a 5.4 kilometer detectability on the Farragut with the current commander build I have. And in order to get these torpedoes on battleships, you either have to be spotted, maybe inside of a smoke screen, or the battleship has to be pushing into you and you have to line them up very, very carefully. But if you can hit the battleship with them, well, they are, you know, torpedoes. So they will do quite a bit of damage, and they're a good deterrent to any battleship who should want to push into your smokescreen. They certainly don't want to be taking a bunch of Farragut torpedoes to the face like that unfortunate enemy Cavour out there. The torpedoes, by the way, could also potentially be used in destroyer v destroyer fights. After all, these guns are very, very quick reloading, and sometimes in desperate situations where you're at a hit points disadvantage, well, the torpedoes can come into play, and you don't really lose all that much time shooting your guns. Although, keep in mind, that is not necessarily a recommended move, nor is it a very reliable move. But the Farragut itself is a very, very reliable destroyer indeed. I think the best at Tier 4, and the best choice for this Tier 4 ranked season. You're not going to find any other destroyer that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a well-played Farragut very easily. As for a premium alternative to the Farragut, I would recommend the USS Hill, which is essentially a premium version of the Farragut. But now on to the next class of ships, cruisers. And for our cruiser, we have chosen the Tier 4 German light cruiser Königsberg. Which, well, for a number of reasons. The main reason is its firepower, and 
the efficacy of the high explosive should you find yourself facing off against enemy battleships in the ranked season well the Konigsberg enjoys the German penetration on high explosive which means it can penetrate a lot more armor than any other cruiser at its tier without the benefit of equilibrium of power as a commander skill and by the by that I mean any other cruiser with the same gun caliber size. Obviously, larger guns can penetrate more with their HE, but the Konigsberg, with the German penetration, can penetrate over 32 millimeters of armor, which is more than enough to melt pretty much every battleship at Tier 4, and even many at Tier 5. Now, the HE, to compensate for its excellent penetration, does have a lower alpha strike comparative to the rest of the cruisers at the tier, but it's HE, so it starts fires as well, and it does raw penetration damage. So, it's always pretty much going to come away with some damage, even if it may not be as much damage as other cruisers. But the AP? The AP is very, very good indeed. You can see a nice salvo of it there against a mostly broadside Queen Elizabeth. It can penetrate battleship superstructures and casemate armor in many cases and do a lot of good consistent damage. Even angled targets, angled battleships can suffer damage from it if you aim it up into the superstructure. And of course against cruisers it can be devastating. The Konigsberg also has an 8 second reload so that makes it a pretty good DPM machine for its tier. And it's very good at swatting those pesky enemy destroyers because of that quick reload and also because of its sonar which is the German sonar and has a longer ship detection range than other nation sonars. So if you're pushing into a destroyer's smokescreen, not only are you going to be able to spot its torpedoes, but you're going to be able to spot the destroyer from further away as well. The gun setup on the Konigsberg is also unique in that the two rear turrets can rotate 360 degrees, which is very nice, and obviously the majority of the guns are on the back, so it's quite good at kiting and therefore staying alive and not being hit by enemy battleships so much. But conversely, if you're going bow in, say to brawl with another cruiser, keep in mind it's not recommended you try to do that against battleships, but if you do go bow in against cruisers, because of that 360 degree rotation of the rear turrets, you can easily switch all of your firepower from side to side very quickly, and that can be very good in brawling situations against cruisers. The Konigsberg also carries torpedoes on either side of the ship for last-ditch efforts against battleships or to deter them from going around islands. And of course, in brawling situations against cruisers, the, their usefulness speaks for itself. I really don't have any premium recommendations, honestly, besides the Konigsbergs, because it's just, frankly, it's just so very good. And finally, we're going to move on to battleships, and nothing, I think, beats the Pyotr Veliki, or the Big Peter, the Peter the Great, Tier 4 Tech Tree Russian battleship. This ship is outrageously well armored for its tier. It's got such thick armor that it could probably stand up to firepower from Tier 7 or even legendary tier ships. That's how thick the armor is. There's no excuse for it. It makes no sense. But the gun power. The gun power is excellent. Perfectly capable of dev striking cruisers, especially at close range, and an absolute terror to enemy battleships who give you broadside within 10 kilometers. In fact, enemy battleships fear the Peter the Great so very much that they don't even want to engage in fights with it if they are smart. Take this Dante Alighieri giving me way too much broadside. He knows the Peter the Great will punish that broadside if he continues to show it, so he angles in, but now 
Well, there's nothing he can really do now except try to ram, which is exactly what he does. And he would have killed me here, and I wouldn't be using this clip if not for some clutch torpedoes from my destroyer teammate, who takes him down to almost no health, and then I get a die hard right as he hits me. So I move on unscathed because the Peter just does not care about that kind of nonsense. And besides, if that Dante Alighieri had given me broadside, well, this is basically what I would have done to him anyway. Take this New York out here. You see him now, but now you don't see him anymore. He is dead. The Peter the Great has ridiculous firepower, especially at close range. And in the ranked seasons, especially in the ranked seasons with a lower ship count, when you're fighting battleship versus battleship, well, you're probably going to be at pretty close range, and that is where the Peter excels. As for premium alternatives, you could go with the Nikolai, also Russian, you could potentially go for the October Revolution as well. Both of those are very heavily armored and they have more guns than the Peter the Great does. So that may be something appealing to you. But the Giulio Cesare is also fantastic, pretty well armored itself, and highly maneuverable. Anyway, those are my top picks for Tier 4 Ranked. Let me know what yours are in the comments if you disagree with these, or if you think there are better ships out there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And look out for me on Saturday on t channel. We'll be playing Tier 4 Ranked together. I'll see you guys then. For now, goodbye.